Hello and welcome. This is Bhagu Haritas from BW Business World and today we have a guest with us, Mr. Dinesh Sharma, Director, Mobile Product Center, Asus India. Welcome, Mr. Dinesh. Thank you. Since India is the fastest growing smartphone market in the world, sure. how important is India as a market for you? Actually, India is a very, very important uh, market for Asus. In fact, our uh, global CEO, Mr. Jerry Shen, uh, calls out this particular market as his home market. And we give that kind of importance to India with a lot of initiatives, uh, which are, you know, like kind of global first as well, uh, which we start taking in India. Do you aspire to be at the top of the market share tally? See, we just uh, want to be among the top brands for sure. And it's a journey that we've already commenced upon. And uh, let's see how it goes, but we are putting in our best effort to ensure that we get among the top leading brands in the market. So is this going to remain your vision for the next two years? So our vision uh, for the next two years actually comprises of several aspects. Uh, so one of the key aspects uh, of our vision is that the Indian consumers should actually love our technology, our engineering capability from Taiwan uh, that we actually you know, bring to the Indian market, uh, the quality that we bring to the Indian market, uh, the kind of uh, technological advantages which our products have compared to let's say competitor products that we bring to the Indian market. So this is one aspect of it that you know we should be loved as a brand. Second important aspect is that we want more and more Indian consumers to actually know about us and uh, know ASUS and the capabilities of ASUS because once I'm, I'm sure that more and more consumers once they start knowing about us more they would start loving our brand because the kind of work that we do globally uh, in the technology area uh, which is very very cutting edge uh, which we bring to the Indian market. Uh, the other aspect is uh, that you know we want to you know clearly you know introduce our products in multiple segments and you know like ensure that different uh, segments of Indian consumers actually get to experience our technology. So there are multiple aspects that we are working on. If you talk about the businesses, you know, in the consumer PC uh, space, uh, we are already among the top three leading brands in India. And we want to further up our position in that space. In gaming laptops, we're already number one. And we want to continue to retain and grow that leadership position. Uh, among the smartphones, we want to be among the top brands in the Indian market. Uh, this year, with the launch of new products, we've already got very, very encouraging response uh, from the Indian consumers. And uh, we've reached some very critical milestones, like with single product like Max Pro, we've already reached one million unit. And uh, on the mobile side of the business, again, we've got a very strong strategic partnership with Flipkart, which is unique as compared to what other brands have. And we want to grow upon that partnership and the benefit that it actually brings to the Indian consumer. So what percentage of business for ASUS is coming through smartphones in India? Uh, a very large uh, percentage of the business is coming uh, from smartphones because smartphones as a market itself is very, very big as compared to, let's say, the PC market. So obviously, uh, you know, smartphones, uh, us doing well now in the smartphone market is resulting into a larger contribution coming out from the smartphone market. Having said that, even in the consumer PC space and the gaming space, we're doing pretty well. And that's also contributing significant numbers uh, for ASUS India. Every other smartphone brand yeah. in India mm -hmm. has a sweet spot where yes. they try to hit a particular segment. Yes. So which segment is the sweet spot for ASUS? Wow. I think, uh, you know, as I said earlier also, we want to actually be present across all key segments of the market. I think the objective is not about looking at which segment will be a sweet spot. Rather, the objective is how do we get a sweet spot in every segment? and actually you know, get a product which is really meaningful in that segment for the larger set of consumers in that particular segment and that starts doing well. Mm -hmm. Here there too, you know, the two products that we've introduced this year in smartphones, okay, both the Zenfone Max Pro and Zenfone 5Z have really hit a sweet spot in their respective segments. How do you place yourself among other brands in those particular segments where you have launched your smartphones? We want to be the best in the segment, mm -hmm. okay, and if you know, uh, you know, both our phones which have got launched, Zenfone Max Pro as well as 5Z this year, both of them are actually competing with the best in the segment and they are in the consideration set of consumers for the best smartphones in that segment. So that's what we want to continue to do. Is there any particular brand you fear or think of as your biggest competitor? Uh, to be honest with you, we aim for the best proposition to the consumer and whoever happens to be best out there ends up competing with us because of the kind of proposition that we are able to deliver to the consumer both in form of product, pricing, quality, etc., feature set. Uh, so from that perspective, I think uh, we want to continue to do this kind of effort uh, which really uh, makes the Indian consumer see that ASUS is delivering them a very good quality product uh, at a very good value proposition 
uh, globally a philosophy is about empowering luxury for everyone and that's something that we are doing in India very very seriously. So are you going to add more products in your portfolio this year? Yes, we are going to be adding more products in the portfolio this year. Uh, very shortly you will see us expand uh, in price segments that we have not yet gone into. So you will see a couple of phone launches from our side uh, in the below rupees 10,000 segment and which will enable us to reach out to a larger section of uh, Indian consumers at those price points. And what about the segment above 30,000? Are we going to see any smartphone very soon? See, we already have Zenfone 5Z doing very well above 30,000. And yes, you will see a couple of other very high-end launches coming up from the overall ASUS global portfolio. So is there any possibility of ASUS Republic of Gamers phone coming very soon in India? Yeah, the ROG phone uh, will come soon, hmm. is what we can confirm. So which channel works best for you when it comes to selling phones, online or offline? So currently, you know, we've got this strategic partnership uh, with Flipkart. Yeah. And I think clearly the online works for us uh, very strongly mm. in association with the Flipkart. Uh, having said that, you know, the market is no longer kind of divided between online and offline. Okay, because if you see brands are available in both the spaces pretty well. Mm. It's a pretty homogeneous market from a market perspective. but. From our perspective, clearly the Flipkart partnership mm -hmm. is of paramount importance and we do work together with them. Uh, one of the key things uh, that you know we've done in India differently is that uh, we've clearly focused on India with a made for India approach. Mm -hmm. With the made for India approach, you know we are customizing products for India and not just uh, picking up whatever is available globally and launching it just the way it is out here. Mm -hmm. Or even sometimes uh, you've seen that we've already launched Max Pro, which was first launched in India as a world first. Mm -hmm. uh, we also are working on other products which you'll see very soon, which could be world first and launching in India first. Mm -hmm. So you will see this uh, customized approach which is coming out from deep consumer insights uh, based on what the customer really, really wants. So where do you think this percentage is going to settle, uh, the 30% online and 70% offline, the Indian market? See, with the recent uh, report from uh, which was published by IDC or another Research agency, I don't remember, yeah. right? What I remember is that uh, online has already reached about 36% mm. market share of the total market. Mm. Uh, hard to say, you know, like how and where this number will go, but clearly you see a lot of brand uh, choice and a lot of uh, product choice, uh, which is increasing on online. And therefore, you know, what impact it has on the share of online is very difficult to predict right now. Do you think launching multiple devices in a particular year mm. establishes that brand in India? Uh, see, clearly, you know, as a brand, at least what we believe in is that, you know, we need to reach out to multiple segments of consumer. Mm -hmm. And uh, segments in Indi India is a price conscious market. And you've got different market sizes at different price points. Mm -hmm. So clearly, we believe that if we are present in multiple uh, price segments of the market, we would be able to reach out to more Indians and thereby be able to you know expand our market in the country so i have myself seen a lot of asus users complaining about your brands after sale services okay. so why is it that people have this perception or why do they think that your after sale services are not so good okay. and how do you wish to change that okay we've got more than 200 plus service centers see we are not new to india right. asus has been present in india for more than 14 years and uh, we've got 200 plus service centers in more than 165 cities. Okay, we ensure that before every product launches, we have our spare parts available. Uh, we've got global systems for managing after sales service, which have been tried and tested globally in more than 60 plus countries. And we use the same approach in India. Uh, our service partnerships, if any with any partner, is with the best in class in the industry. We also provide pickup and drop service. That means, you know, like if you don't have a service center in your close proximity, you can call up uh, ASUS. And ASUS will actually, you know, come and pick up the product from your house. We'll repair it and we'll deliver it back to you. We are the only, we are among the only brands which actually provides you an invoice free service. Which means, you know, when you go to a service center, you don't need to carry your invoice. We uh, check what's the activation date of the product. And based on the activation date of the product, we actually, you know, like kind of service your phone. So from that perspective, we can ensure that uh, unlike some of the pretty large brands which require to carry invoice, box, all the contents in it, we don't even ask consumers to do that. So from that perspective, we take service super seriously and uh, strongly believe in ensuring that the consumer experience is absolutely top class, both when you buy the phone and when you use the phone. 
I also want to say that we've got an, a very strongly manned call center in India with a helpline number. So when you call up this call center, we also provide you troubleshooting service. Okay, if there is anything that we could solve on the phone, we solve it on the phone for you there and there. Mm, you don't and need to. Yeah, kind of and if not, then we guide you to the service center. So there are multiple things and in many of our phones, you know, there's an app which uh, allows you to actually diagnose your phone for any of your hardware defects which have happened to the phone. And it also allows you to trace our service centers and also log a call on the app itself. That's great. That's great. How important are festive seasons for you from the business perspective? Do you expect a surge in the smartphone sales? Yes, they, we do. See, what is happening is that, uh, you know, we work very closely in association with Flipkart and mm -hmm. you know, big billion day sales yes. and the festive sales happen mm -hmm. in this particular period. So while I don't know how much uh, incremental would the market go up with, of course, the markets, uh, the market, which is mobile market will go up during the festival season, during Diwali, the Sera period, etc. Mm -hmm. But the online sale will go up significantly higher mm -hmm. because of the kind of offerings, the kind of value proposition. Right. Uh, which uh, Big Billion Day Sales offers to you. And and being a significant player in that space, we would see therefore a much larger increase mm -hmm. in the market size and market opportunity for us right now in this period. So, will the focus of ASUS is mm -hmm. going to remain on the smartphone business in India sure. or the other products? Major focus? The See, our major, our each category that we operate in is very, very critical to us. You know, whether it comes to, you know, our motherboards business, or whether it comes to our PC business, or whether it comes to our smartphone business. Each one of this is independently focused upon by a respective business head. And we all, you know, like are rolling up into a regional head for Southwest Asia. So from that perspective, every business has its own unique focus uh, within the larger set of organization and therefore is driven with very, very high level of seriousness for aiming at a leadership position in its respective category. So what, according to you, is important? Giving a better product or better advertisements? Because the Indian market have a lot of players. Yeah. Some of them focus on marketing, some of them focus on products. What kind of a company is ASUS? We are clearly the company which first believes in providing the best possible product. I think if you provide the best possible product, uh, it creates its own word of mouth. Mm -hmm. The consumer does the advertising for you. And therefore, as a, as a company, we clearly, clearly, strongly believe in first uh, design thinking, developing the product for the consumer as per the consumer's requirement, and delivering the best possible product to the consumer. This is our first and foremost priority. And if you have both, you have great products, why don't advertise and do marketing, spend crores on that? Because, uh, see, we are delivering a very high value proposition to the consumer. Mm -hmm. And uh, how is it, it's, it's defined in a marketing speak very differently by different brands. Uh, but I just want to say that we actually deliver the best in class value to the consumer, very simply speaking. Right. And uh, therefore, we don't want to unnecessarily do any kind of an expense which would, you know, not enable us to deliver the kind of value we do deliver. Exactly. Well, that was Mr. Dinesh Sharma from ASUS. Thanks for talking. Thank you very much. Thank you.